keep going through challenging times and I know a lot of us, a lot of you looking for ways to make more money or just ways to make money in general especially online on YouTube there's still a lot of ways to do it and today I'm really gonna go with the main ways that you can still make money online even if you're a small or a beginner when it comes to being on YouTube I'm gonna dive deep into it it's gonna be about right now I hope you're doing fine today. This is another day, another week, and another video. Happy! Let's talk money. <laughs> Not a subject that I talk a lot when it comes to being here, but you know, at some point we have to. We gotta talk about inspiration, motivation, confidence is gonna get you anything you want in life. The money, the right people for you genuine trap with you, a genuine community as well. But you have to be authentic and you have to feel that from inside out in order for people to be attracted to that. Most people do, especially at the beginning, is to think that AdSense is gonna give you and make you rich. AdSense is technically what YouTube is gonna pay you for any type of ad they're gonna put on your videos. But given the most recent changes, you need to have at least 1,000 subscribers and at least 4,000 hours of watch time to be able to be eligible for that so for you to get there there might be still a lot of work when it comes to it which is totally okay it's totally fine but you can do anything else even before getting there and we're gonna be talking about it today it shouldn't be your main way of making money that's what I think because at the end of the day depending what you do here depending what is your CPM I'm gonna talk about it uh, in a few don't worry about it the CPM is technically the cost per thousand views. Depending on what you do, your cost per thousand views could be as little as five dollars and could be as high as 30, 35, 40 dollars. If you are in the beauty, the entertainment, it's not the highest paid niche. Again, you can make money. The cost per meal views is gonna depend on that niche. It's gonna depend where you live because in Canada, United States, United Kingdom, countries like that, they're gonna have the highest cost per thousand views. It depends where your viewers are coming from. If they're coming from another country, and I'm gonna name Cameroon because it's my home country, you're not necessarily gonna be paid as much. You can get to have a thousand bucks a month. But if you live in Cameroon, a thousand bucks a month is amazing. But if you live somewhere in Canada, United States, where the cost for living is a lot higher. If you have viewers watching from Cameroon, for example, if you're not being paid as much, the cost for living wherever you are could be problematic you need to search for other income streams if you are in the education the business social media great niches for people to actually put ads because there's gonna be a lot more other people actually watching those videos and other people usually they have more means to buying any type of thing they're gonna see on the ad and that's why those people are getting paid a lot more it's how the cost per meal actually comes into place and that's how AdSense could be really different and varies from a month to another. This is the situation that we have now, the crisis out there doesn't make it easy for anyone. So even for people getting really much more highly paid, they see a decrease in the cost per meal. So the first idea for you to make more money is to think about affiliate marketing. It's probably one of the best, especially when you're starting out. To get any type of commission off of anything gonna show online so if your blogger a stylist or anybody into fashion because that's where i'm coming from subscribe to any type of website it's called shop collective something like that if i can i'm gonna share the screen with you i'm gonna give you any commission based off anybody clicking on the link you have down into your description box that whole especially from asus i used to use that a lot it's easy you don't have to be super popular you just need to apply and you're gonna have your link you click the link and then you go onto the shop collective and then you apply that link and associate it to your account they're gonna give you a specific unique link for you so anybody clicking that link you're gonna be able to have the commission directly without the person actually buying the stuff affiliate link because people can feel really much more uh, bothered by that 
you want to put a disclaimer into in your description box for people to know that you're actually using them and can get commission based on clicking on the links or buying anything through those links my affiliate link is amazon buy a lot of things on amazon books it could be even some clothes it could be youtube equipment i have that in my own description box the other part is the mindset book i have the same thing down below in my description box so you want to really be able to use those things and have those extra cash and that's always always super good the next thing you want to consider is brand deal but first of all don't reach out to brands to ask for free stuff it has to be genuine it has to be coming from really getting to help them and help yourself at the same time but more so because you already love the product you already love the brand and you want to be able to share that story with anybody else around you or anybody else with your audience never reach brands just for the sake of having any type of free stuff it doesn't look good on your end and at the end of the day they know that they have a lot of people doing the same thing so they're gonna ignore it at some point so just avoid doing it at all costs. There's something that you truly love, truly appreciate, and you know it's just gonna be a lot more authentic that way. If you're scared of reaching out to brands and you feel like you don't have a big enough audience, first of all, just give it a try, you never know. Second of all, micro influencers they're getting bigger and bigger and bigger especially right now during those crises people want to relate to bloggers lifestyle it has to be a part of your personal style i always say if it's a part of your lifestyle show it share it you gotta focus on those people that actually relate to your story and lifestyle even if you have less than 10k on instagram it's still a big enough audience for people or brands to reach out to you because if it's real people if it's genuine and you have that high engagement you are great you can't fool them that much anymore you just can't another way for you to make money even if you have adsense is to have a business of site digital product any physical products coaching business all of those ideas can be great because again you don't need a lot of followers you don't need a lot of subscribers to do it even if you have 500 subscribers and are highly engaged you want to have a couple of pieces you want to sell if you have a blazer that you're selling at let's say 20 25 bags if only 100 people buy it this is life this is a lot it's not life like i'm not good with numbers 100 people that buy your blazer at 25 bucks 2500 in your pocket having 100 people buying your stuff buying your products not necessarily the easiest thing to do but it's definitely doable where you can see that you don't need a million followers or having to wait for adsense to pay you you can actually make money way before like the same example can go to the coaching because this is what i do helping clients and helping women really growing confidence into the style into the branding and into videos if you're a life coach and you're selling your three months package for let's say 1700 bucks five to six people to start with you get 10k working with six people only you don't need to have million people following you for that it depends on your message it depends on your value it depends what you are here to do even if you need to create digital product at some point Starting with the coaching with skills that you already have, which is to listen to people, having that empathy and sharing that with people already enough to have those people pay you that to start off. These are the skills you already have. If you're a blogger working in fashion, you can get to create presets for pictures, amazing effects for the videos, amazing templates for thumbnails. You get to create all of those amazing products that people are dying or just looking to have. Editing photos, editing videos, working on videos like I do. I propose what you can do. T-shirts, cups, people are gonna buy it from you. As long as there's a message behind it. So simple, beautiful, amazing. At least one people buying that from you. It was a short and sweet one. If you want to get online, this is the moment for you to do it. You have skills, you can help people you can serve people you can inspire people you can motivate people working on their mindset working on your mindset you can share your own journey with people and people are gonna be much more grateful for you to do that you know i hope you liked it i hope you enjoyed it this is again was my way of showing a bit of love here you know what was the best takeaway from there you usually do and what are you planning to do i know it's not easy i know there's a lot of uh, doubts questions on to what's gonna happen next better and we're gonna keep moving because it's life yeah 
give it a thumbs up like subscribe if you love that type of video and of course there's gonna be a lot more if you stay on here i wish you a great day and thank you again for watching this video don't forget to follow me on instagram because it's gonna be a lot more massive value everything is gonna be down below my youtube gear it's gonna be down below as well i wish you a great day a great weekend a great day <laughs> whatever and i'm gonna see you for my next video and like i say all the time keep smiling because it's free and contagious in a good way bye